morning, so I am off today to get my hair done. Um, I'm going to try a new salon today, so I'm going to Bad Apple on um, New Street in Birmingham. Um, I've gotten my hair done previously down in London, and um, at the moment my hair has thrown up a little bit of warm, so I'm trying to get them to take a little bit of that out, add just a few highlights around the T-section so I keep my balayage and hopefully tone down all the warm and the goal to get it back icy. So I'm going to take you with me so you can see what my experience is like. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do another video at some point about my previous experiences having my hair done down in London because I've been to some amazing salons and I want to tell you guys all about it. So. This is the salon here. So yeah, looking forward to getting my hair done. Current status marinating. So uh, this flip should be transporting fairly soon, I'm hoping. And now I'm just gonna get my toner on it. So that'll hopefully make my hair nice and blonde and get rid of all the horrible gold, which I can't stand. And this is a salon and it's pretty cool. As you can see. Just Hi guys, so bit of an update regarding my hair. I went to Bad Apple in Birmingham on Monday. One of the salon technical directors and she was really, really nice, got on really well with her, but I'm not happy with the result, basically. I wanted more of this sort of blonde on the front of my hair, which is why I booked a T-section. I somehow ended up with a really dark root, uh, which has got loads of gold in it, which I didn't want. Yeah, I just kind of didn't feel like they listened to what I wanted, so fairly, fairly disappointed, and that's probably giving fuel to the fire as to why I would instead go to London, get my hair done um, and probably pay a lot more because I didn't have my hair coloured for four months prior to that and it was perfect and I really loved it. I just needed a little bit more touch up and I'm really, really unhappy with this colour now, like really unhappy. So I'm going back in tomorrow um, and hopefully they will rectify it for me because as it is, I'm not feeling this at all. I'm not happy. So I'm back from the hairdressers um, after having it blondied up after what I consider to be hair disaster. Um, and yeah, I mean, it is blonder, but it is also a bit sandier in my eyes. It's not the bright, bright blonde that I wanted that's on the ends, the eye size baby. So there is a few more bits on the front, as you can see. And when I lift my hair back, I've got more blonde, but I still think it looks quite gold. So all in all, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will leave it for a few months, definitely. But I think I will go and get a T-section back in Bernardo's in Marlebone in like November, December time. Is what I'm thinking, even though he is the dollar dollar bill. Yeah, basically. So that is me. That is my hair story. That is what happens when you go to a hairdresser, you think you've told them what you want, but you don't show them a picture. Today I showed a picture and I think it helped. So my advice throughout all of this is if you're going to the hairdresser and you want to get a specific look achieved, make sure that you have a picture to show them and that they can then manage your expectations accordingly because, yeah, you will be disappointed and upset otherwise. And that is generally what happens to me, generally. So, yeah. Bye-bye, lovelies. <laughs>